look at this sunny and 75 guys how's it going happy toby tuesday Oof. just been getting some errands done in london all day i went to the dentist got my teeth cleaned i went to the hospital got my records from when i broke my back for some insurance stuff what else did i do i swung my live fit i went to the gym it was a productive day but uh I figured by the time I get home, it's probably most likely going to almost be dark. So I figured start Toby Tuesday in this uh, abandoned parking lot. Why not, right? And yeah, so Toby's doing well. We got lots going on this week. No new cars, unfortunately. I messaged a the scrapyard. They said they got nothing yet, but should be some cars coming in soon. I can't wait because I want to jump some cars. The burnout season, guys. Time to burn some tires off, so... But uh, yeah, we got lots of mudding this week. Uh, lots of guys have been coming over and going mudding down the track. So it's just been a little wet down there. But other than that, it's just been good. So headed to Jamaica for March break. I'm excited about that. I got court on Friday. I got a careless driving ticket. I'm not going to tell you how I got it till after the court day. I don't want to jinx it, but after I'll make the video maybe after court on. I think I have court on Friday, Thursday or Friday. But yeah, I'll let you guys know next week how it went and how exactly I got the ticket so anyways uh yeah let's uh, jump in the truck I got one more meeting to get to and then and head back home we'll do Toby Tuesday and get her rolling boys get her rolling beauty day out here all right back home she's dark outside we got the sled we got the dirt bike and this ramp showed up in the mail actually this this DGRP ramp. I saw it on Facebook. I, a bunch of people shared it. These guys loading their sleds up. Basically, you drive up it and then it like pivots up and then it's got the wheels on the front and you slide it in. So yeah, they all of a sudden they emailed me after I watched the video. I didn't even email them. They emailed me and uh, they sent me this ramp. And then the courier guy, he was a bit of a prick. He, uh, he yelled at me because I wasn't here when he dropped it off and he said it was like 400 pounds. It's not 400 pounds, it's like less than 100. I lifted it by myself and put it in my truck. He's like, I need help to unload this thing. And oh, it was a hassle. He's mean. He's a mean guy. He was just having a bad day. Anyways, sled's still here too. She's still for sale if anyone wants it. The ad is on Kijiji. I've had a few offers for it. A bunch of low ballers, a bunch of guys and Kids trying to sell me or trade me their little dirt bikes. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I got a dirt bike somewhere right over there. I need a fresh dirt bike too. Anyways, yeah, it's Toby Tuesday. Let's go get toes. We got lots of good comments from you guys. As always, I love reading comments. It's funny because I don't always say the right thing in videos. Like a lot of times I'll say stuff wrong on purpose just to get some guys going. So I was reading some comments the other day uh, from the snowmobile drag video. I, um, it was miles to kilometers conversion and I like just doubled it. I don't know the, the exact conversion right away, but yeah, I just doubled it just to see if I could get people going. And oh man, that got people going. So yeah, and I'll, I'll call a fish by the wrong name. I'll call a fish a bass or a pike when it's not. So sometimes they just like to stir the pot a little bit. But uh, yeah, so let's head over to Byron. We'll get Toby. I'll do a video on this ramp later this week. It is pretty cool how it works. So yeah, I don't want to do a video right now because it's dark outside. But uh, yeah, later this week I'll do a video with it and we'll rig her up. If anyone wants to check out their website. It's all right, I hit the, hit the record button and stop button. If anyone wants to check out their website, it's DGRP. Snowmobile ramps there, so check them out. All right, Tobe's time. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? You're a weird cat. I don't know what they're, what cats are thinking. He's guarding the candy over there. Weirdo. You're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. Come on, Tobes. Come on. To the golf cart. Come on. It's over there somewhere. All right, let there be light. Dun, da, da, da. Toby! Toby, 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 Toby. So this is the greenhouse. So many people tell us we should grow weed in here, 
like medical weed, obviously. But it's kind of sketchy because we're beside the highway. And I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of stuff you got to go through to grow weed. But anyways, Zan wants to get it up and going and do like a hydroponic operation for vegetables and stuff. So that's what he's working on right now. Right, Tobes? You want to grow some weed? No? We can put some in your food dish. <laughs> oh, Tobes. All right, yeah, it's Obi Tuesday. What's going on? So we have had beautiful weather the last few days. It called for rain every day, and then it was sunny every day, so I am not going to complain about that. I am A-OK -okay with that. That is, that is spot on for me. Perfect. Ugh, hit the old spot here. Hey, Tobes. You just busy being Toby, doing your thing? Just hanging out. Me? Did you miss me? Did you miss me, bud? <laughs> Ooh, apparently I went through some mud with the old Dunlops. Apparently I hit my muffler too. She got a little melted. A little melted tubes. A little melted. We got some good questions from you guys as always. I will start right now with those. Nathan Lund, do you ever go snowmobiling in the mountains? I haven't recently. I used to. I've been out to Revelstoke. Basically, yeah, I think I just went out to Revelstoke uh, sledding that one time. But I would like to start coming out more often since uh winters here suck they're awful you can get like you know a week or two of trail riding if you trail ride but uh yeah other than that it's yeah i would like to start coming out you know maybe like two three times a year week at a time do some sledding do some snow biking and uh you know go with a friend or two and then we can bring the snowboards up and drive up the hill and you know pick up drop off the snowboarder and what is on my arm like cobwebs or something, I don't know. But yeah, I think it'd be cool to come out west more often because uh, winter sucks. Winter sucks in Ontario, this part of Ontario. I remember our winters used to last like November to March. Now it's like one week in December sometimes, and then like a week in February. Like it's pretty much spring already. Hey Tubbs, you ready for spring? Tub likes the warm. He loves the warm. He loves the warm. Yeah, um, Daniel JC48, you should do the car jumps in slow motion. Well, we have done some of the car jumps in slow motion. There's not always a ton of people there when we do the car jumps, so usually there's just one guy filming, and you can either do slow motion or normal. So, um, I don't know, like, the car, yeah, some of them are cool in slow motion, but I think they're a lot cooler when they're normal speed, because, you know, you don't always get the audio in slow motion either. But uh, yeah, I cannot wait to start doing car jumps. So I've contacted the scrapyard. They don't have anything yet, but hopefully soon, hopefully soon, fingers crossed, people are gonna start getting rid of their uh, winter beaters and get back in the summer vehicles. So hopefully there's some nice beaters there, some nice Cavaliers or some Saturns or Sunfires or, cause those things are weapons. And I can't wait to groom up that jump and just send cars even farther. I want them to go high, high as possible. It would be cool to clear that jump, but I think height is more important than distance. So that's my, that's what I'm gonna do this year. I'm going for height. Hey Tobes, you wanna go for height or distance? You don't care. He's like, just feed me. It's dinner time. It's dinner time, Mark. We have a good video for you guys Friday too. It's um. We did some mudding here the other day. If you guys saw my Snapchat and uh, Instagram story there, all the, all the Grant boys showed up with their quads and trucks, and uh, we found a giant little, little pond on the track down there, and we got muddy, so it's a, it's a half-hour video too. So, And uh, one of the trucks actually ended up hitting a quad. Not hard or anything. It was, just, it was kind of stupid what he did, but he managed to do it. So that's why I titled it Truck Hits Quad Mud Fest. All right, what else we got here? Brian Morrow, why are you selling the sled? Well, I bought that sled, as you guys know, just for water skipping and, and ditch banging. And I did that, I did the videos, and now all the snow's gone. I'm gonna do one or two more water skipping videos with it, but I really, it would be nice to have it for the summer water skipping, but at the same time, like, the grass and weeds get so high up there, they're like, you know, six, seven feet high, and I just don't wanna be dealing with, 
going through that on the sled and the rocks and all that crap. So that's why we did a lot of water skipping videos for you guys this winter. So you can look back and check those. But yeah, selling the sled, get rid of it. I'll get a 2018 RS next year, hopefully from Bailey's again. And then uh, we'll have a water skipper for next winter too. So maybe a trail sled too. I don't know, maybe. I'd like to go up, up uh, north a lot next year too, since you know we don't get good uh, trail riding here anymore. It would be nice to go up north and do some trips up there and get some kilometers on, a couple kilometers. Uh, what else we got? Lawrence Stewart, you should get a three-wheeler. I should get everything. If I had an unlimited bank account, I would buy everything, but I don't. Just YouTube monies, so I can only buy so much at a time. Mostly just truck payments and gas gas for my truck, because I travel, I got like 4,000 K on that truck already. But no, and then a lot of my money goes to investments and toys and yeah. So if you guys are making money, you should invest it. Think about your future. And then in the future, you can retire early. So um, yeah, three-wheeler though. I don't think I'd buy one personally, but I do know a few guys with a three-wheeler, so maybe we'll do some three-wheeler goon riding this summer, or soon, I guess. Um, they are pretty interesting machines. Pretty crazy, pretty dangerous, but uh, yeah. Tobes? You good? No, no, we're not going yet. Not going yet. <laughs> hey, old man. Hey, hey, old boy. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're almost done, Tobes. Couple more minutes. Just hold your hold your horses. Uh, Quebec X Racing. You should do an easy sled load video. That's a good idea, actually. It's on the list of things to do. Um, I don't know how I would do it. It's definitely not as easy to load a snowmobile as it is an ATV. I definitely can't do it by myself. But maybe I'll just try and make a funny one anyway. I'm definitely not going to do the reverse wide open and launch a sled out of the back of my truck again because that wasn't very smart. But you know, sometimes you got to do it for the YouTube, for the fans, right? For you guys. So don't worry. The money from the video paid for the damage on the sled. So I didn't lose out on anything there. And it was hilarious. <laughs> it was one of those things you're just like, oh my God, I can't believe I, I did that. <laughs> Oh, well, whatever. Um, Eric Bryson, did you sell your YXZ1000? Uh, no, actually, I gave it back. So Yamaha just lent that to me for the summer. It was amazing. Thank you, Yamaha, so much. That YXZ1000 was so much fun. I had the Players Razor before, like one of the first, one of the first models, and that Yamaha just put that Players to shame. So, and I loved the paddle shift. That was my most favorite thing. I just felt like I was in a race car again or in a race car, so hopefully I can work a deal with Yamaha and get one for the summer, and if not, well, I guess I'll have to go buy a side-by-side. -side. Um, it would be nice to have a side-by-side -side all year, too, because I wish I had one for the whole winter, because I could be ripping snow, and I'd be ripping it right now in the mud, but uh, yeah, they needed it back for, they wanted to sell it for Christmas, so that's why they got it back, but the 2018 or 19s come out, 2018s, they come out, uh, actually, I think this week, so Hopefully we can uh, work some out with Yamaha and get something going. All right, last question, Morphman21. Where did you get your T-Rex suit? Good question. I got it on eBay actually, and I accidentally bought two. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I accidentally bought two, so. And Matt wrecked the one, so. I have one now, and it works. Um, I think it was around 150 bucks I paid for it, and it showed up like two days later, but that thing is awesome. If you guys wanna make hilarious videos or prank your sisters or your parents, whatever, get it on eBay. If I had a link, I'd give it to you, but I don't, so. Thank you guys as always. I hope you enjoyed the videos this weekend, the sled videos. Sorry, you know, winter sucks and we can't do more sled videos. Doing the best they can over here, but. Um, yeah, we got some good mud videos this week, and we'll try and get some skipping in. I'm going to try and skip the sled this week, and then I'm headed to Jamaica for March break. I think we're staying at the Rio Reggae Resort in, um, in Jamaica. Yeah, that's all I know. Amber booked it. I'm just showing up. So, Dubs, you ready to go? Should we, should we make like a duck and get the fuck out of here? <laughs> Uh, all right, we'll see you guys later.